Continental Aviation's most capable fighter is the MiG-29 Fulcrum. This was the first of a new generation of Soviet superfighters, which was designed to match and even outperform highly agile Western fighters like the F-16. The MiG-29 is aerodynamically very advanced. It's also immensely strong. The MiG entered service with the Soviet Air Force in 1983 and began to replace older MiG-23 interceptors. By 1990, it had equipped at least 14 fighter regiments around the USSR. The MiG was numerically the most important fighter with the Soviet 16th Air Army in the Western Group of Forces, equipping eight out of nine fighter regiments in East Germany, Czechoslovakia and Poland. During the Cold War, MiG-29s were tasked primarily with air defense and gaining air superiority. From their East European bases, they could cover all of Germany, most of Belgium, Holland and Northern France. Standard air-to-air -air missile armament comprises four short-range R-73s and two medium-range R-27s carried in both radar and infrared homing forms. Both weapons are considered superior, especially in maneuverability and range, to the latest versions of their Western equivalents, the AIM-9 Sidewinder and the AIM-7 Sparrow. Had war broken out, the MiG-29 would have used these weapons to destroy NATO fighters, fighter bombers, as well as high-value assets such as AWACS and tankers. The missile armament is backed by an internal 30mm cannon for close air combat and ground strafing. It's an extremely accurate weapon. An infrared search and track sensor is mounted in front of the MiG-29's cockpit. This allows targets to be detected passively. The Erst can pick up an aircraft-sized heat source at tens of kilometers without generating giveaway radar signals. Mounted in tandem with the Erst is a laser rangefinder. This provides highly accurate range information for the MiG's missiles and cannon. Although designed primarily for the fighter role, the MiG-29 has an important ground attack capability. It can carry three tons of freefall and retarded bombs or air-to-ground rockets up to a caliber of 240 millimeters. In the tactical nuclear strike role, it carries a single RN-40 weapon with a 30 kiloton yield. A defecting MiG-29 pilot once stated that it was standard practice for his regiment to give specific tasks to each of the three squadrons, one for tactical nuclear strike, one for fighter escort, and one for air defense of the home base. With around 500 examples in service, the MiG-29 forms the backbone of the VVS tactical fighter force. Since the breakup of the USSR, it's become the mainstay of the air forces of many former Soviet republics, which account for a further 350 machines. <laughs>